Hey everyone, this is Yako, and welcome to episode 8 of Life in the Fast Lane, this time featuring Fizz vs. Karthus. Um, this replay comes from a ranked game. I was at about 1200 ELO. Um, I was third pick on my team, Karthus was second pick on his team, and uh, I decided to counter pick him with Fizz. Um, I feel like this is a good matchup for Fizz. Karthus only really has his Qs. Fizz has pretty good movement speed since you go boots first, uh, it's pretty easy to dodge them. Um, Karthus doesn't really have anything to stop you from closing in other than his range. Uh, he has Wall of Pain, but Fizz can always E over that to get in close. Um, Karthus can't really do anything once Fizz gets close either, so if he uses his Wall of Pain and misses, um, then he's just going to get hit over and over. Um, and once you get in close to him, Fizz can out-trade Karthus despite him having Defile and hitting with Lay Waste and stuff. Um, with uh, Fizz, my marks are always Magic Penetration, my Glyphs are always um, AP per level, my Quints are always flat AP. Um, the only ones that change sometimes are my Seals. For this game, I am going HP per Welcome level Seals. My Masteries are 21-9-0, 3 in the Magic Resistance Mastery, because I expect to get hit by Karthus when I go in. He's going to deal damage with Defile with Lay Waste, um, and the Magic and the, the magic Resist Masteries uh, will make it easier for me to trade him. Um, I think that's about it as far as the matchup goes. Uh, you have to be aware that when you kill Karthus, um, he'll still be able to get you with at least one or two more lay wastes. Um, so you just have to be careful about that. Um, if you think you're barely going to kill him, then you probably shouldn't dive him on his tower. Just gonna fast forward until the laning phase actually starts. Minions have spawned. Here we go. So most Karthus level their lay waste first. They'll get their wall probably at level two or four. Um, they'll get the file at two or four whenever they don't get their wall. Um, so at level two, I expect to have. Uh, I expect the last hit Karthus for a long time actually, until he starts leveling up the file 2. He's not going to trade me with just lay waste. Don't miss those last hits guys. <laughs> practice, practice, practice. So right now not much is going on, I just hit level 2, so if Karthus slips up and makes a mistake, um, I could start harassing him a bit. I should probably be trying to zone him out right now. Let's see. Oh, I walked into that anyways. I just took Defile level 2. Um, so despite all that, Karthus took Doran's ring, so for sure I outtraded him, because now I have potions. If he lets me get in one more time, he's probably gonna die. Just gotta make sure that I dodge those lay wastes. This Karthus seems to be pretty predictable with his. He's using them mostly to harass my minions. Don't miss those last hits, guys. Really important. Oh. Sitting terrible as being. So there I flashed to kill Karthus. Am I gonna kill him? Yeah. Am I? Oh, he just made it out. All I had to do was auto attack him after eating in there. That was bad. You should have died there for sure. But now, anyways, at least I forced him back. I get the last hit. In peace for a bit. Um, I'm up 6 CS over him because apparently he's worse the last hitting than I am. So Urgoth comes to help out. Is Urgoth a jungler? Yeah, jungling Urgoth. So I'm gonna go harass him a bit. Get him off my back. Oh, um, he has, he's out of mana and really low health, so he's gonna have to go back soon, anyways. Um, Skratus is back. Urgoth's gonna go back to base, most likely. 
I know this Karthus is going to push like crazy, so I'm not going to lose much CS by going back now. And I have enough gold for a Doran's Ring. Instead of walking back to get my mana, I could have probably gone back to base and not eat. I mean, I could have probably gone back to lane and not eat. Gone there maybe 2-3 seconds earlier. So, like I thought, Karthus pushed hard. I can only lost 2 CS there. Oh, actually, I lost a whole wave. Um, that's okay because he's terrible at last city. And now he's pushed again. So he keeps missing those, those leeways. So now I'm gonna zone him out. I have a level on him. I'm full mana. I showed him that he can't out harass me. I'll DPS me if I go in. So I go in, turns on the file, nothing happens. I eat out, but I could probably have just walked out. I don't, or I waited till he at least lay wasted before I eat out. Um, I wasn't going to take much damage from a level 1 the file. Maybe level 2 if he decided to not get his wall. So I'm not too worried about Urgot ganking me because he's not level 6 yet. Until he gets level 6, as long as my ease up, his ganks are just not going to be so the Karthus makes another mistake there, and again I E out. Um, I could just walk out of those. It's just a waste of mana to E out. So now that my mana is low, I'm not in a position where I could really harass Karthus. Um, I think now he either went back or went to camp blue. Probably went back, because if we got started at blue, blue will not be up now. I didn't notice if Forgot had blue when I saw him in lane. I think he did. Those are things you have to pay attention to. So now obviously Karthus went back or else if he got to get blue he will be back by now. So Karthus has gone back twice, I've gone back once. CS is 28 to 9. He's losing hard. Mind you he's not a great Karthus so... There's one thing that um, I noticed like that layaways hit me there, so my minion didn't die. Um, so you, if you have lots of health, or you're not worried as much uh, about dying to Karthus, sometimes it's if the layaways will only hit one target and kill it, um, and it wouldn't kill it if it hit a second target, it's okay to go walk on top of the layaways. Layaways only deals half damage if it hits multiple targets. Um, so sometimes you can prevent your opponent from last hitting. Uh, if he's trying to hit a minion that has some hit points left. Karthus just loves to spam those Qs on my minions. This is so many last hits from playing this way. Like he's not even trying to last hit, he's just trying to kill my minions and like out push me or something. Like he can out push me all he wants. Another randomly waste there. It's not really worried about running on magicals. So, I mean, this is a farm fest kind of lane. Uh, it's hard to get in on Karthus. If I want to get in on him, I have to use my E. At this point, I don't really have enough mana to just waste my E like that. Um, so it's hard to close the gap on Karthus. If he wants to farm from far away with his Q, I can't really stop him. Um, I have to either use my E to get in, like I said, or I'll wait till Karthus makes a positioning error and then I can punish him. But like, when the minions are at my tower like this, I was just level 5, so not much can happen here. Um, but yeah, when the minions are at my tower like this, this is my chance to zone Karthus out. Um, unfortunately, your goth is just there, so I couldn't do anything. Like if Forgot would have shown himself so quick, I would have tried to zone on Karthus and they might have been able to gank me. Probably not because Forgot didn't have his ult yet and uh, I have my E anyways. But at least they would have done some damage and maybe sent me back to base. An ally has been slain. An enemy has been slain. So that's like Karthus is just farming from far. Not really doing much. He's Going out of the lanes 
often for like no reason at all. It's like down two levels now. Um, but at least he's not getting himself killed for making silly mistakes. Now that he has his ult, I should probably go back to base because I'm pretty low. But because he's pushing hard, I don't really have a shot at going back to base. So it's at this point. D6 is 25. So I'm doing good. Up two levels, up 600 gold. Still losing more CS. So Fizz goes into Gankarthus, so I don't go back to lane. Can go help him. Oh, fear them, drain them. I was gonna go around because I didn't think Fizz would manage to land the fear Karthus, but he did, so we missed a kill there because I was gonna go around to get Karthus from from behind. Could probably have kept doing it after I saw Fizz land the fear. Our god is back in mid, so Karthus can go to base. Two junglers are fighting it out. For some reason, Phil sticks is down a level on our god. I don't know much about jungling our god, but I'm not sure why Finn's is so far behind. It's hung around there so we can level up, it's fine. So this is a pretty boring la laning phase to watch. Um, again, I'm trying to zone on Karthus. He went really far back. Minions are hitting me. I let them get closer to my tower. Um, I think they're gonna push a bit here. No, my minions are pushing a bit. Could have vaulted him there and maybe killed him. So, I think, it, I think in this matchup so far, I haven't used my E to go in often enough. At this point, I have two Doran's Rings. Um, mana is as much of an issue as it was in the early game, so I could be Eing a lot. Like, see, from one Eing in, and QWing him and hitting him with 1A, he lost like half his health. That's like a big sign that I can be more aggressive with, with my E. That was a really, really bad ult there. Like, throwing long range, long range alts and hitting looks really cool, but it's just a whole lot safer alt after you QW someone. Like you're right up next to him, really hard to miss them. So here I E over his wall. Um, he used his wall to stop me from going out of tower range after I QW'd him, but... You know, I can just see over it. So there, that was bad. He was under his tower, he was going back to base. I mean, I should have gone in, but I probably wouldn't have. And then I saw him ulting, so either I go in and he cancels his ult, or he doesn't cancel his ult and he dies, which is exactly what happened. Um, so our god shows up, I gotta get out, Next, I know I have a 2 level advantage on our god, so I'm still gonna get out because I can't really do much, that minions are in the tower. My team should be taking dragon now, I don't know what we're doing, I think we should have gotten the dragon. Instead, we're not doing anything. I mean, either my team goes and does dragon and I go help them, or I go back to base at that point. Staying in lane is really useless. Um, our god took so long clearing that wave that I would have had plenty of time to go up, to go back, and to go back to base and come back to lane. Now because I waited so long, Karthus is back, and I uh, haven't been able to go back. So he already has sorcerer's boots, as do I. So we have similar items. He has an amplifying tome instead of my second Doran's ring. And I'm up 3 levels, so I still have the advantage. Plus I have all that gold on me when I do go back. Um, I'm getting close to a needlessly large rod. 
Here too, I could have just eaten, hit Karthus, and then like ult him. So yeah. Um, so basically, that's it. Um, Karthus is playing okay. He's firing from far. He realizes that if he goes in, uh, he's just gonna take a lot of damage. What I'm not doing right is I'm not eating offensively enough. Um, because of the way Karthus is playing, he puts distance between us, but he doesn't have so much distance that um, I can't Q into him as soon as I land my E. Which means that he can't use his wall to stop him, to stop me from coming in. I'm always going to be able to come in after my E. Uh, so because he's not using his wall, he's not staying far back enough to be able to use his wall defensively, I don't need to save my E to hop over his wall so I can get in. I can just use it whenever I want to get in. And that's what I'm not doing well. Um, once I'm in, if he walls me, it's okay, I'm still going to be able to hit him with my auto attacks, I think. Um, if he moves out of range so that I can't hit him with my auto attacks, then I'll, then he won't be dealing much damage just from the defile, basically, and I'll be able to get out of his defile even if I'm moving slow. Um, but yeah. Oh, yeah. Getting caught by that ult is bad. Missing the on the on, uh, on Corky was bad too, and now my E is down, so I can't dodge the card assault from my guy. Um, that whole little sequence was bad. I wasn't thinking about the Ergot all there. Um, so top must be close to being gone. I mean, mid must be close to being gone. Yeah, the tower has three quarters life left. At this point, I'm still up by a lot over Karthus. We have the same amount of kills, but I'm up 38 CS. So I'm up roughly 700 gold. Um, both of Karthus' kills are from ulting. Um, not much I could do about that. Maybe the first time I could have killed him before he got his ult off. Um, for the kill on me though, there's nothing I can do. Once I get caught by the Ergot ult, um, I have to eat out of there. I think I was too aggressive, I could have eat away from Corky instead of on top of him. Uh, but I didn't think I had a shot at killing him there. Um, I really didn't though. While I was playing the game I thought I did, but I didn't. I should have just eat away, then I wouldn't have died to the car, so... So I'm back to zoning him. I still have two levels on him. And all that's yes. So the difference between me and him right now. He actually built a mages. Incredible. So he has a mages and I have a sheen and an extra villain to me. So right now I would say I'm way ahead. This Mage has, has no stats right now. So I'm just gonna start pushing hard because this card just won't let me harass. My bottom lane is having issues. Right now I should be going bottom instead of messing around in mid. I should hard push the lane and go help out bottom. Oh, it's too late. But that's what I should have done. Last time I heard push. Yeah. Now I all part this in the tower. He hits his wall on me. And he still can't kill me. So that's what I was talking about. Um, using your E offensively. He still hit me with his wall. But usually at this point, wall is the last yeah. ability that cards will level. Yeah. So it's not reducing uh my magic resist and my armor in a considerable way. All it's really doing is slowing me down. Oh, yeah, I'm missing that he's gonna cost me there. So at least because Sona was there, I managed to queue to her, and then I flashed because I didn't want to get ulted. I didn't know if she had her ult. 
If she ults me after I flash, Corky doesn't have his W, so he doesn't really have a shot at catching up to me and dealing damage. Right now I'm 3 one -0. Um, I'm CSing Kripus, I have almost... I have 50 CS more than Kripus. And uh, one more kill and three more levels. And... The game is still pretty even. My team's lost more towers. So although I'm winning my lane pretty hard, um, our Severe is getting crushed by Corky. Two levels and 50 CS and a kill and two assists. And our Shivana. Shivana against the is pretty even. Uh, Balling's all over the place. They lost their tower and they don't know how to last hit. Like, very well once their tower is gone, I guess. So, uh, Severe's running all over the place, which isn't helping her farm because now she's under farm. But by running all over, there was a kill up top, she didn't get an assist on it. So now she's losing tons of XP, tons of CS, doing absolutely nothing. Bot is naturally pushing. No, because our tower is gone and no one's down bot, uh, their bot is free to go wherever they please. And because their bot is actually doing well, it's putting a lot of pressure on our other lanes. Um, because everyone's always hanging out mid, it's affecting my farm and my XP. Um, so yes, yeah, so we have a chance pushing mid, not really because we have no minions. Um, but we'll do a bit of tower damage. <coughs> yeah, we'll actually take the tower down. Oh well, next wave, whatever. <coughs> the tower is essentially down. See? Now the art team's pushing all the way to our other tower. Like, Severe should be their last hitting. I think we're gonna manage to trap Yi here. He Highlanders, I think. And because Fizz was going around and I'm not sure. Oh, he managed to fear him, so at least we pick up that kill. Oh, he's going to get out. So, my dodged him. So, no, that was good. Um, yeah, laning phase is pretty much over, so I'm going to end the video now. Should have ended it a while ago, I think. Um, so, those were the basic skins. Karthus, he outranges you, but you can use your E going on him. Once you get in close, you're gonna out damage him. Um, he never levels his wall, so all his wall is gonna do um, is gonna slow you for five seconds. Um, Rampage. Does it? Where does it slow? Yeah, it slows your movement speed, not your attack speed. So if Karthus decides to, to hit you with his wall, um, he's got to use it to back away. If he doesn't back away, if he stays within the auto attack range. Um, then you'll be fine. Uh, the radius of the file is 550. Your auto attack range is 175. Um, so he can hit you with the file while being out of auto attack range. Um, but he's not going to deal enough damage in those 5 seconds uh, for it to really matter. Um, anyways, you always have your E. If he manages to slow you and you're in trouble, you can use your E to get out of the file range. Um, and if you're not in trouble, you can just use it to deal damage. Um, your ult's always good. If you see him start to channel his ult while in lane, he's got a channel for 3 seconds, so you can counter his ult with your ult. I'll just cancel his ult. Um, you have a second and a half to land it, so it's a pretty big window to cancel his ult if you see him. Um, usually he'll back off somewhere where you can't see him to ult. Uh, so like, if he has a lot of hit points and all of a sudden he goes out of vision, um, I guess you can assume he's ulting, but this Karthus was doing that all the time, and he was just zoning himself out. Uh, so that's it. Dodge the Qs. Harass when you can. Use your E offensively. The thing about using your E offensively that you have to be careful of, though, uh, is that 
if the jungler is nearby and Karthus manages to bait you into using your E, you're pretty much going to die. You have to watch out for that. So it helps to pay attention on your minimap. Um, at this level, people don't pay attention to their minimap, so I try to ping the jungler whenever I see him. Um, I'm also dueling with uh, the Soraka here. Uh, and she does the same thing. When she sees a jungler, she pings him. This helps your team be aware of where the jungler is. Uh, it's important to know so that you can take good decisions like that. Like, sometimes I might have a shot to go in on Karthus, um, but if I don't know where the jungler is, he might be around, then I can't really do it. But if I know the jungler is bot or top, then it's an easy decision to just E in and hit him. Because nothing can really happen. Um, so, yeah. uh, so that's it for the video. That's it for the video. I hope you guys learned something. And uh, hopefully I'll uh, make more of these videos. I'm having a hard time finding matchups lately. I've had lots of Chaos matchups. Uh, and yeah, lots of Lux matchups. But Lux is a tough matchup. Uh, I'm not too sure how to play against her, which is why I'm waiting to make a video on her. Hopefully I'll get some of the more common matchups, like Morgana. Morgana would be nice to have. I think I have a replay of Scion sitting somewhere. Uh, I could probably do that too. Um, so anyways, we'll see. Have a good night.